Hello, it's Rosemary on Unite here. How are you doing? Okay, we're talking all about blog posts today and how, yeah, sometimes you know how you get into that whole thing where you're cranking out a lot of them, but still, you're not getting the traffic that you expected, or maybe you're not cranking out a lot of them, actually. Not many people actually crank out a lot of them, I suddenly realize. But anyway, ultimately, you're not getting the traffic that you want, you're waiting for search engines to find you, and ultimately, you need to figure out how to promote your blog. So let's talk about that a little bit. There's five ways here that you can do that. So first and foremost, hopefully you are, in fact, building a mailing list, because that is your first port of call when you do a blog post. You can send them out an email, tell them to come and have a look at what's going on with you, uh, make sure, of course, that the, the blog post itself is fairly entertaining, you know, or inspiring, or motivating, or educational, or something along those lines. Just tell them that you have a blog post, and then ask them very sweetly to share it for you. Basically, you never know, somebody might just take you up on that. So the next thing you can do is promote it on social media. Woohoo! We live in a wonderful day and age of social media, and there's plenty of platforms to choose from, but of course you're going to go to the one that you already have built a bit of a presence on. There's no point just trying to spam everybody with your blog post, because they'll hate you. So, so yes, good old Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, Periscope, Snapchat, all of those places. I'm sure there's a way you can figure out how to get people to understand that you have released a wonderful new blog post so that they can come and have a look at it and share it or plus one it or whatever it is that they do on that particular um, service or LinkedIn actually. I didn't mention LinkedIn, but LinkedIn is another great place to put your blog posts and get some traffic from there. Hey, and then advertise, okay? So yes, we've talked a little bit about the free ways. What of the paid for way? If you have created something awesome, then don't just wait for people to find you. Find them. <laughs> Be, you know, proactive at finding them. Invest a little bit of your money, it's your business after all, in advertising what you have out there. And the thing about advertising your blog posts is, I know sometimes people feel like it's a bit of a pointless exercise, but it isn't because it helps people set you up in mind as someone who knows what they're talking about. If you've done a good job on creating that content, then you need to get people to see it, okay? And then they're warmed up to you just as a result of them reading your content and not necessarily by buying anything immediately or being forced to buy anything immediately, but because they've read your content, next time they see you, they're more likely to sign up for that mailing list of yours, hey? Okay, ask for help. So who do you know? Who can you link up with? Can you help them by um, advertising their blog posts and then asking if they would do the same for you? Um, don't let fear stop you from approaching other people. Don't let competition stop you from uh, approaching other people because, it, yeah, it's a community. So build community around your brand so that people feel, yeah, you're helpful and then they want to help you, basically, um, and join groups. Groups, there's LinkedIn groups, there's Facebook groups, there's forums. Join them. Get active on these um, groups so that people know what you're up to, and then when you come to put your post in the group to maybe answer someone's questions with a post, or to just ultimately to ask them to go and have a look at it, then you can do that because you know you've invested a little bit of your time. People feel a bit warm towards you because they know you, okay? And that's ultimately what your content is about as well. It's kind of um, increasing their knowledge of you. So those are five ways that you can promote your um, blog posts so that they're not just sitting on your site doing absolutely nothing and getting no interest whatsoever. But as you carry on answering those questions that your prospects put to you, you will find that Google, Bing, whoever, will start to find you though, because people will be looking for those things that you are answering the questions to in your blog post. So have no fear there that it will all come together finally. Okay. And if you would like some more help in sorting out your blog posts, maybe even writing your blog posts, um, reasons why your business is not working, how to get more prospects, all of that stuff, then you need to pop over to rosemarylonionight.com forward slash toolkit, where you can get access to these five things you can see on the screen right now. Well, and if you can't see them because you're listening to me, there's five good things for you. Um, and there's also two bonus things in there as well. And I'm always adding to the toolkit because I want to make sure that you're able to, you know, move your business business forward immediately and this stuff is completely free so pop over to rosemarynonunite.com forward slash toolkit and again rosemarynonunite.com forward slash toolkit it's time to fight for to create the life the business you want and stop living the one you don't man until the next time bye